Hi, right, good morning my friends. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm just going to be giving you all an update on the Jimny. So, the automatic transmission is blown. Two days ago, on May the 14th, I was on my way from work on the highway and I was hitting around 80 kilometers and then all of a sudden, the revs just start rising and the van felt like it was in neutral. So I managed to get on the shoulder and when I flipped through the gears, none of the gears were going in. So I, I checked to see if the output shaft of the transmission was spinning and it was not. Then and there I knew the transmission was gone. It's not something that I wasn't expecting completely because I bought this Jimny three and a half years ago in 2020. When I bought it, everyone told me that the automatic Jimny is not suitable for off-roading. That sooner or later, the transmission will go. And that's exactly what happened. I put bigger tires, I modified the Jimny and the transmission gave out. It didn't come at a complete surprise, but I also wasn't expecting it this soon. But it happened, so how are we moving forward from this? So we have two options. We could rebuild the transmission or we could manual swap the Jimny. Let's look at the first option, rebuilding the transmission. In Trinidad, rebuilding the transmission will cost more than swapping to manual. Now, let's say I do decide to rebuild the transmission. This Jimny is an offer Jimny and as time passes, we're just gonna keep modifying it further and further and it's gonna be more stress on the transmission. So if I decide to rebuild it, more than likely, it's gonna go out again in a few years. Also, to replace the transmission, in China, you can't get automatic transmission for the Jimny's. It's just something that, it's like gold, it's very rare, and anybody I ask, I call around and I ask, it's, it's not available, and I won't be able to get it. So, Rebuilding or replacing the transmission is off the table. So let's look at swapping it now. So yes, I will be manual swapping the Jimny. And this means that the limitation of the transmission is no longer there. I can run bigger tires. I can do more heavy modification now that I don't have the limitation of the transmission. Now the question is, which gearbox am I going to be putting into the Jimny? So there's the original gearbox, there's two variants, there's the R72 and there's the R7ME, both of which are very difficult to find in Trinidad. I call around a lot of places and unfortunately I'm not able to get the original gearbox at all. So my next option would be to use a gearbox from either the Samurai, which is the G13A gearbox, or I can use the gearbox from the JB33, which is the G13BB. Now, the difference between both of them would be, one of the main difference for me would be the position of the shifter. So from the front of the gearbox to the shifter, that distance, it's different on both of these gearbox. For the Samurai, it's a lot shorter. And for the JB33 gearbox, which is the G13BB, it's the same as the original gearbox. So if I decide to install the G13 BB, I won't have to do much modification. Everything is gonna line up back as is. The only thing is I'm gonna have to use an adapter plate, which isn't a problem. So between the Samurai gearbox, which is the G13A and the JB33 gearbox, which is the G13 BB, I'm choosing the G13 BB gearbox just because it's a straight lineup and um, the shifter position and everything will be the same. With respect to actually doing the swap, I am not going to be doing it myself. Instead, I'm going to send it to a garage where they did this multiple times before and they have the experience. That way, I have the peace of mind that everything is being done properly as it should. They have all the templates, all the parts. I'm just going to have to deliver the vehicle and pick it back up. I already spoke to them. They're familiar with the videos that we make and the Jimny. 
So that's it for this video. I thought I'd just give you all an update on the Gymney and thank you for all of the support that you all continue to show. Uh, the channel is growing and uh, I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you. So that's it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.